All right, let's start you off with the radar satellite. Coming up later in broadcast, we're going to show you video we took of actual storms. But right now, let's get to it. Oh, there it is. They got the video up. If we can play it. Either way, let's play through that and put it into play mode. This was a storm coming through, showers. I told you that the best chance at actual good rain in more than three months was today. Once again, I like to say that I was right on the money. Let's bring it back to me. Storms rolling through. This is the first initial wave already pulling away to the northeast. New wave developing to the south of Gateway and Moab. Those storms will drift to the north northeast at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. If they can hold together, that means another round of energy is on the way. Good news is none of that is severe. We'll be keeping a very close eye on it to keep you and your family safe, but that one severe storm earlier was kind of a fluke. We take a look at the America's Mattress Tower Cam. We look to the southwest where the storms are coming from that would reach us, and sure enough, in the distance you can see the Cumulus Towers building, which means there is a good chance more storms on the way. We're at 74, winds southeast at five because the cold front hasn't even reached us yet. All of this is energy built up ahead of that cold front. Humidity 40 percent, dew point 48. Step out of the sea dot images. If you're going to travel tonight, you need to be real cautious. High-profile vehicles like 18 wheelers. We'll experience 40 and 50 mile an hour outflow winds. That's winds that blow out of a thunderstorm. Good news is those same winds have not kicked up much of the pollen because weeds have just basically used all the pollen they had. So they're getting lower because there's just not that much to spread around. Mid to low 70s for us, mid to low 70s in the high country. That's the power of clouds and showers. Winds 5 to 15, gusts of 20. Dew points ranging from the 30s, actually drier in the high country because of the storms that fired here in the valley, brought us into the upper 40s. Humidities all over the place where they haven't had rain yet in Aspen and Gunnison, 19 to 28. But for us, the rain evaporates, bringing the humidity level up as it goes back into its gas form. 40 to our friends in Montrose, 40 for us, already high enough to get more rain to stick to the ground. We've seen the first wave moving through, moving into the high country. We just talked about the second wave just to the north of Moab. Temps right now ranging upper 80s for Burlington. For us, the power of rain again, mid 70s, making it much, much better than the other side of the state. Smoke projector, guess what? Had a big column on it earlier. The storm grabbed those smoke particles, turned it into more showers, and probably aided that storm in becoming severe because it was able to bond with those little pieces of smoke. Strong storm threat does exist tonight over us, so I can't roll out one more severe storm, but look, tornado threat is non existent. I want to be clear on that. When we go up into Nebraska, that is a tornado threat for tomorrow in the very edge of the panhandle just to the northeast. Of Sterling, but then the cold front acting as a broom sweeps the deck clean Thursday for men in heels. Let's go back out wide, figure out what's going on in the big picture so we can understand the local weather. Very weak cold front coming through now, creating the storms along its boundary. The much stronger cold front is actually knocking on the door of Oregon, stretching into the southern side of California, and it will roll through and clean the deck out in about 24 to 18 hours. We go wide on the forecast. You can see there is more thunderstorm action there, but let's go in and take a tighter look at that for those of us. Specifically here in western Colorado. Matching close to what we're seeing on radar projects the energy to move through over the next three or four hours. Then we see another little tiny round in the morning. National Weather Service going 60%, but as of the model run, I'm dropping that to 40. I think the cold front will pick up speed, it will sweep the deck, and we are probably done once we get past midnight tonight. So let's take a quick check of the rain total projector. Already picked up about 0.04. We could get another 0.04, some up in the high country. And yes, even above 13,000 feet tonight, some dusting of the white stuff is possible. Tonight, 58, partly cloudy and breezy with storms, 60% chance there. We put mid 50s to a couple of low 50s, low 60s, and then a high country, upper 30s to upper 40s. For tomorrow, yeah, you're not seeing that wrong. A high of only 75. Partly cloudy skies will clear in the afternoon. I'll go 40% chance in the morning, mid 70s in the valleys to upper 60s, low 70s in the high country. So let's factor that into the next seven days. For Grand Junction, we're looking at 75, 77, and 84. Then we get back to 90s. We're going to go down to Montrose with mid 70s, mid 80s. You go back to the 70s. And coming up, what are we going to talk about in final weather? The cold front, the thunderstorms, and what about men in heels tomorrow? Will you need an umbrella or a jacket? We'll talk about all of it coming up.